Welcome to our V Bulletin training video. Today we're going to be showing you how to disable your custom plugins for troubleshooting reasons. This allows our support team or yourself to see if the issue is with the custom coding or the default software. It takes about 30 to carry out, so it's always worth the time to troubleshoot it. To start, we're going to log into our FTP client of choice. We're using FileZilla here as it is our preferred choice for our free FTP client. Your client might be slightly different, but everything else should be more or less the same. Now that we're connected to our FTP site, we're going to locate our vBulletin folder. Now that we located our vBulletin folder, we're going to navigate through to the core folder, and then inside of there, we're going to find the includes folder. Here we see the cores.config.php file. We're going to download it to our computer. Then we're going to open it up in our editor of choice. We recommend using Notepad++, Notepad2, WordPad, or EditPad. Right after our fancy vBulletin block of text, we're going to add the code define, open parentheses, quotation marks, disable, under dash hooks, quotation marks, comma, true, close parentheses, semicolon. Be sure that disable hooks is in all capital letters. After that, we will press save. This shuts down the vBulletin plugin system completely. After we save it, we're going to need to re-upload it to our FTP server and overwrite the old file. After that, you're all done. Thank you for choosing vBulletin 5 Connect.